Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a differential equation. This differential equation is kind of interesting because we have y prime on one side and a function of two variables sort of on the right hand side. So we have one plus e to the power y minus x. So let's go ahead and solve this problem. And this problem is not separable because you know, x and y obviously cannot be separated. For example, if you tried the following, you can write this as 1 plus e to the power y divided by e to the power x, and then making a common denominator, you can kind of write it like e to the power x plus e to the power y over e to the power x, and then cross multiply, write the d y prime as dy over dx, and then you can kind of write it like this. But unfortunately, this is not going to be a separable equation if you follow this path, right? Is there another way to make it um, separable? I don't think so, but we're going to use a different strategy here, and that is going to be my favorite method. What's my most favorite method? And if you said substitution, you got it right. So we're gonna use substitution because substitution is awesome. Okay, so what am I gonna do? I'm going to replace y minus x with something. Would you like to call that z, alphabetical order, x, y, z? Let's call it z. So what did I call z? I have to keep track of things, right? So I said, let y minus x equal z. Great. So that gives me an equation that kind of looks a little simpler. y prime equals 1 plus e to the power z. So I kind of got this system, sort of, and I need to uh, solve this problem. Why did I use substitution? Well, because we had two variables, now we have, well, actually, I should say three variables, right? Well, no, it wasn't separable. Okay, I should put it that way. It wasn't separable. X and Y are kind of mixed together, but now it is separable. Okay, let's write the Y prime as dy over dx. But before that, I would like to do the following. What does Y prime mean? Because since I have Z on the right-hand side, I don't want to have y on the left hand side. I want to have z. So it's really, what is the relationship? Okay, let's find out. I have z, y prime, so I have to be able to turn it into z prime. So let's differentiate both sides here. Remember that y and z are functions of x. And we are, we are differentiating with respect to x. Let's do it. The derivative of y with respect to x is dy over dx, or you can write it as y prime. And the derivative of x with respect to x is just 1. And the derivative of z with respect to x is the z over dx, or you can write it as z prime. So y prime means dy over dx. Let's be clear on that. And z prime means dz over dx. Great. Now, how does this help me? I can basically, from here, isolate y prime and write it as z prime plus 1. And this I can substitute here. You get the idea? Hopefully you do. Now let's proceed. I'm going to replace y prime with z prime plus 1 equals 1 plus e to the power z. And this is beautiful because we only have one variable, which means we can make this separable for sure. Great. In order to make it separable, here's what I'd like to do. First of all, notice that we can kind of get rid of the ones here which is really nice and we get we come up with a simple equation let's go ahead and write the z prime as by the way this is not z to the first power it just means the deriv derivative of z which is z prime make no mistake about it so i can write it as dz over dx and then it is equal to e to the power z okay cool how do you make it separable super duper easy divide by e to the power z and multiply by dx. Now dx doesn't really have anything, that's okay, it means 1 times dx. Now, I can go ahead and I can go ahead and integrate both sides because now it's se separated and the integral of e to the power 1 over e to the power z, that means e to the power negative z dz and obviously the right hand side is fairly easy. Now, how do you integrate e to the power negative z? Well, if you differentiate e to the power negative z, you get the negative 1 times e to the power negative z, which comes from the chain rule. So I kind of have to include the negative 1 there because when I differentiate that negative, it needs to disappear. So that is the integral of e to the power negative z. And the integral of dx with respect to x is just x 
plus C. At this point, you can just go ahead and add your constant. We could add it on either side, doesn't really matter. Great. What am I going to do with this? Well, we have to back substitute. What is Z? Z is equal to Y minus X. So I have to go and back substitute, replace Z with Y minus X. So since Z is equal to Y minus X, negative Z is going to be the opposite, which is X minus Y. So this becomes negative E to the power X minus Y equals X plus C. And if you wanted to put everything on the same side, you could write it as e to the power x minus y plus x plus c is equal to 0. Since c is a constant, you could also write this equal to a constant. So if you call, let's say, negative c is equal to k, I can also write this as e to the power x minus y plus x equals k. And those are going to give you all the solutions. Obviously, there's no way to make this like more explicit, like we can't really get the y by itself, so we have to leave it like this. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.